Do you know where we get our energy from? Energy is a pretty amazing thing. It's like a secret superpower that lets us move and change things. Think about it this way. When you're playing a fun game of football and you kick that ball across the field, that's energy. Or perhaps you're bouncing a bouncy ball up and down and up and down. Each bounce is a little bit of energy in action. Even when you're just running around in the park, each step you take is powered by energy. It's a bit like invisible magic, helping us to move and make changes around us. Now isn't that exciting? So energy is all about movement and change. But where does it come from? Well, that's a fantastic question, and we're going to explore the answers together. So buckle up and get ready for an energizing adventure. Have you ever noticed how the sun warms everything up? Indeed, that big bright ball in the sky, the sun, is the Earth's principal source of energy. It's like our planet's very own gigantic battery, continually sending us warmth, light, and life. Imagine the sun as an enormous glowing furnace. It's so hot that it sends out a cascade of energy all the way to Earth. This energy warms up our air, land, and water. It's the reason you can feel the heat on your face on a sunny day, or why you can swim in warm ocean waters in the summer. But the sun doesn't just keep us toasty. It's also the world's biggest light bulb, illuminating our days. When the sun rises, it banishes the night, bringing light and color to our world. It's the reason we can see the blue sky, green trees, and all the colors in between. Without the sun, we'd be living in constant darkness. And what about plants, you may ask? Well, the sun is vital for them too. Through a process known as photosynthesis, plants use the sun's energy to grow. They soak up sunlight, mix it with water and carbon dioxide, and voila! This magical process creates the food that fuels their growth. And as they grow, they produce oxygen, which is essential for us humans and all other animals to breathe. But wait, there's more. These plants, grown with the help of the sun, become food for animals and for us. So in a way, we're all solar-powered, relying on the sun's energy to live, grow, and thrive. Isn't it amazing how much we rely on the sun? It's like a friendly, fiery giant generously sharing its energy with us. It warms us, lights up our world, helps plants grow, and even indirectly feeds us. Without the sun, our world would be a very different place, cold, dark, and without plants. So the next time you're basking in the warm sunlight, remember to appreciate our incredible life-giving sun. Ever wondered why we need to eat? Well, it's because food is like fuel for our bodies. It's our very own source of energy. Imagine you're a rabbit nibbling on a crunchy carrot. That carrot gives the rabbit energy to hop around and do rabbit things. Or picture a child munching on a juicy apple. That apple is packed with nutrients that help the child grow, play, and learn. Just like a car needs petrol to run, our bodies need food to function. You see, when we eat, our bodies break down the food into smaller parts. These parts, called nutrients, are then used to power our bodies. They help us move, think, and grow. And that's not all. Food also helps us stay warm when it's cold outside and keeps our hearts beating so we can live, laugh, and love. So every time we eat, we're actually refueling our bodies with energy. Did you know that we use different types of energy every day? Yes, indeed. The world around us is powered by various forms of energy, all working together to make our lives easier and more enjoyable. Let's start with electricity. This is the type of energy which powers our lights, computers, and televisions. When we flip a switch, energy in the form of electricity flows into our lights and brightens our rooms. And when we want to watch a fun show or play a video game, it's electricity that brings our screens to life. Next, we have gas. Many homes use gas for heating and cooking. When you see the blue flame on your stove, that's gas turning into heat energy to cook your favorite meal. And when it's chilly outside, gas can also heat our homes, making them cozy and warm. Now, think about when you're in a car. Cars run on petrol, which is a type of energy called chemical energy. When petrol is burned in the car's engine, it transforms into mechanical energy, making the car move. And let's not forget about wind and solar energy. They power things like wind turbines and solar panels, providing us with clean, renewable energy. So, as you can see, our days are filled with different types of energy, all working to make our lives better. Energy is a part of everything we do, from cooking our food to lighting our homes. But did you know that many of our energy resources are limited? Just like a battery that's nearly empty, or a pile of firewood that's getting smaller and smaller, some of the ways we get energy are not going to last forever. 
You see, humans get their energy from the world around them. We burn coal or gas to heat our homes and power our cars. We use electricity to light up our cities and run our gadgets. But these resources are not infinite. They're like a huge cake that we're all sharing. Every time we take a slice, there's a little bit less left for everyone. And just like how you wouldn't want to eat your entire birthday cake in one go, we need to be careful about how we use these energy resources. Because once they're gone, they're gone for good. That's why it's so important to use energy wisely and not waste it. So remember, next time you switch on a light or turn up the heating, think about the energy you're using and where it comes from. Have you noticed that we use energy differently in different seasons? In the chilly winter months, we crank up the heating to stay cozy, using more energy to warm our homes. When summer rolls around, it's the opposite. We want to stay cool, so we use energy to power our air conditioners and fans. Spring and autumn? They're a mix. Sometimes we need a bit of heat, sometimes a bit of cool. So, the seasons can change how and what kinds of energy we use. So, energy really is amazing, isn't it? It's like an invisible superhero powering everything around us. From the warmth and light of the mighty sun, the yummy food we munch on, to every single activity we do, energy is there, making it all possible. But remember, just like superpowers, energy is precious and sometimes limited. Every season may require different energy needs, but one thing is constant. It's a powerful tool in our lives. Remember, energy is all around us, in the sun, in our food and in everything we do, so let's use it wisely.